Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella Page. I'm a real estate agent in Northeast Florida with Momentum Realty. And today I'm gonna to take y'all on the day in the life of a real estate agent. Alrighty, so I figured why don't we just go over my to-do list for the day together. Um, I tried to write down a few things for the night before, but I'll usually come up with a ton of things I have to do the day of. So, um, and if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my computer and my planner. So um, at noon today, I have photo or an appointment for photos for my upcoming listing. And so a lot of my morning is going to surround around getting this listing ready. So all the marketing materials, documents, um, I'm gonna be hosting an open house this weekend for it. So getting all the open house materials ready um, and just pretty much all set to go. So whenever we get the, list, the photos back tomorrow, we can just go right ahead and list it. So the actual to-do list of what I need to do this morning at least um, is going to be scan all the documents. So that's seller's property disclosure, HOA disclosure. So that way they are uploaded into the MLS. I'm going to upload the listing into the MLS without putting it live. So putting in all the details, every little thing about the home. Um, then I'm going to finish the upgrades list. So like I said, I'm just going to go back to the document I already started and just edit it and finalize it, put it into a pretty format, which I'll show y'all when I'm done. Um, then I'm going to type out the mass email that I send when I have a new listing. So I'll usually pull a list of agents that have either had a seller or a buyer in the surrounding area in the last few months. And I will just blast out an email to them saying just listed, with a few pictures and just information about the home. So I get those emails all day long. So that's just what realtors do. Um, so drafting that up and then I need to create my open house flyer. So once I get the photos back tomorrow, then I can just plop in those photos so I can go ahead and send them to the printer. And then also I need business cards. I didn't realize I have like actually seven business cards left. Um, so I definitely am gonna try and get those printed before the open house, because that would look pretty bad hosting an open house and saying, oh, I don't have a business card. So <laughs> um, that's pretty much gonna be on my list to do this morning. And then we'll head to the photo appointment and I will take y'all along with me on that. All right, so we're going to head to my first appointment, which is going to my upcoming listing, putting the lockbox on the door and the sign in the yard. You can see all my tools. I literally have a shovel um, that I don't even know what it's called, the like pitchfork looking thing. Um, so it's a lot harder to put a for sale sign in the yard than it may look, <laughs> especially when you're 5'1". So I'm sure it's really hilarious watching me put it in a yard actually from like the neighbor's perspective. But anyways, that is one of the jobs as a real estate agent is to be able to, to do that. So we're gonna head that way. Alrighty, so listing photos went amazing. This seller is so detail oriented and I appreciate that so much because you would be surprised at what people think means clean um, and that their house really isn't that clean or at least not to the standard for showings and having strangers in your house. Um, so it was great and now I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru. Um, I have not had Starbucks in six weeks. So I purchased my house a couple weeks ago and whenever I got under contract, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to try and save a little bit of money so I can spend it on home decor, you know? Um, and I would normally go a couple times a week to Starbucks. So I feel like I've saved quite a bit of money in the last six weeks. So I am gonna get a drink, but mainly I'm here because I, for my past clients in 2021, um, I am sending them all birthday cards and I'm just giving them like little $5 Starbucks gift cards as like a little birthday present. So I'm ordering the gift cards for my January birthdays that I have. I'm going to send those cards out whenever it's closer to their birthdays, but I wanted to take the opportunity to get them now and also get me a little pick me up. 
Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I please get a Grande Irish Cream Cold Brew? Okay, what else? Um, and then two five dollar gift cards, please. Okay, I got that for you at the windows and everything. That is all. Alrighty, so I am back home from those appointments and errands and I had posted on my Instagram stories that I was filming a day in the life video and if there was any questions anyone had that they wanted me to answer in this video. So I did get one question on how I stay so organized. So I will show you a little bit on what I use for my calendars, planners, spreadsheets, vision boards, all of that. All right, so I have this big calendar that sits on my desk, and I use this mainly for big, bigger appointments. So if I know I have, um, I know what day I'm listing a listing, or I have a listing appointment, or um, I'm also using it for new construction, as well as the birthdays that in my past clients. So that's how I knew I had two birthdays this month to get gift cards for. So that's primarily what I use this for. Okay, then I just got this weekly calendar that I've been using to plan more of my social media. Um, so like you can see here what I plan to post this week. So that's what I primarily use this for. And then I have my daily planner that I literally time block pretty much everything. So this is my to-do list. Um, I color code things so this is like time on my computer getting my to-do list done blue is appointments um, pink is like personal appointments things like that so that is how I stay pretty organized okay so I got another question on Instagram that asks what I do for prospecting um, so for the at least the first half of this year I am mainly focusing on circle dialing farming and then loving on my sphere and past customers. So for circle dialing, I will pick a neighborhood that I would want a listing in, pull all the data and phone numbers for that neighborhood and call through. Um, and I can make another video about like what that conversation looks like if you are interested. And then for farming, I have picked two neighborhoods that I really want to be like the expert in and I'm trying to establish myself as that, and I'm sending out one mailer a month and then also circle dialing them as well. So it kind of goes hand in hand with those, but I, I circle dial a gazillion more neighborhoods than I would ever farm. And then I am just loving on my sphere and past clients. So last year I didn't really have that ability since it was my very first year, I didn't have past clients to keep in touch with. So that's where like going to get those uh, Starbucks gift cards comes into play and things like that for birthdays. So that is pretty much what I do for prospecting. I'm gonna really hone in on that for the first six months. I think you have to do something consistently to see if it is working or it's not. I don't think it's fair to say, oh, I sent a mailer out and I didn't get a listing. Farming must not work. Um, so I think there's something to being consistent. So that is what I'm gonna be doing for the first half of 2022. Alrighty, now I am wrapping up my day and I'm going to work a little bit on my post licensing course. So I need to have that done by March. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time. I'm trying to do a chapter a week. Um, so I'm gonna get going on that. Alrighty, you guys, that is it for this day in the life video. I'm going to go snuggle my pups and celebrate my mom's birthday. But if there's anything in this video that you want me to elaborate on or even make another video on, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do so. I hope this was entertaining and educational and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.